G'day, we're gonna have a look at external solid state drives or SSD. This here is a new Kingston XS1000. Now, you can see the packaging, it's actually quite small. But hey, look at this. The actual picture in the front of this packaging is the actual size of the SSD. And here it is. This is it. You will see actually this is pretty much, it does pretty much fit. I went, oh, is that really that small? Really, it is that small. Now, it actually, this is a two terabyte drive. It can come in a one terabyte drive as well. Now, this is actually a very light drive. I'm actually surprised how small and how light this is. Now, my daily driver I normally have for this external solid state drive is this Sobrin rocket drive and this is also a two terabyte drive and you can see how small this kingston is it is really really pretty much i was probably say nearly half the size of my other thunderbolt 3 ssd drive and please this is really light compared to what this thing is now just to give you an even idea of the size of this kingston drive here I've got here is what you will normally typically see in a laptop or a desktop. This is an M2 NVMe solid state drive. Now, this is again in laptops and I'm gonna put this up against this Kingston and you can see how small the actual size of the length of this is a 2280 format for M.2 and you can still see how much shorter that is. But geez, I'm blown by how small this is. It's so easy to fit in your pocket. Now, it does come with a USB-A to USB-C cable and that's pretty much all it really comes with. Now, we're gonna have a look at the speed of this drive. Now, it does have a maximum or up to rating of 1050 megabytes per second for data transfer and we'll do a little bit of testing in later in this video and we'll have a look at the temperatures on this drive as well is results of the storage benchmarks performed on the kingston xs 1000. this kingston xs 1000 has been reading and writing for about 30 minutes and we're looking at a top degrees temperature of 39 degrees Celsius, which is really good for uh, SSDs. It's been reading right on for 30 minutes, and I can definitely see that the other side here. Let's just move this around. And again, not that hot at all. You're probably looking at temperatures, and it is still running around about 950 megabits per second reading and writing. That's fantastic. Now we can perform a simple Windows copy of files over to this Kingston XS1000 external SSD. I'm just gonna do a drag and drop and this is gonna use the right function of this onto this external SSD. Now we go see, this is close to about 50 gigs here. Now these are large files just to keep it consistent and we are looking at about the 685, 690 soon, 670, it's around about 680. This is averaging 680 megabytes per second. Now normally on a flash drive after a certain period of time you'll see this degrade quite a lot in terms of performance on write, especially write as it heats up. Now you usually get around about 20% or 40% of the total speed. This is actually holding this very strong and very stable. I just saw 700 megabytes per second there. It is still holding it strong and I can definitely see here and feel from this SSD that it's not running hot or as easy to hold and uh, we are hitting the 700 range it's actually going a lot better than what normally other flash drives are doing as they usually degrade this is actually keeping it stable or making it better which is absolutely fantastic as you can see we're just doing around about close to about 50 gigs of write onto this external SSD on this Kingston XS 1000 and did it nearly about pretty much about a minute absolute fantastic and very stable performance on the right which is usually the hardest part of the external ssd having tested and also spent a bit of time using this kingston xs 1000 external solid state drive Jeez, I love how portable, how fast, and also how stable the transfer. And all of that, it's not even hot at all. This drive is 
quite amazing. I think that Kingston done an absolute fantastic job on this solid state drive. Now the only criticism I have with it is that it does come packaged with uh, USB Type A to USB Type C cable, which is absolutely great. But It'd be nice to see they actually include a USB-C to USB-C cable just to help out for people who have the newer computers as well. But else, that is the only criticism I have with this. I am blown by how good this Kingston XS1000 solid state drive is. Absolutely fantastic, easy to recommend. Now I hope you find this video informative and enjoyed it. If you did, even support my channel, smash that like button for me. Share this video, it does help me out. And as always, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. And I'll see you next video.